Welcome my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It would be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart. My peeps, my peoples. Peep squad is in a building, baby. We going to the top. We're going to bring others with us. So let's talk about Nicki Minaj on her queen radio station on Apple. Like she always dropped the exclusive. It went down with Nicki Minaj, Deb, Antony, and also with Little Kim and also Fendi. And we heard a little bit about Gucci and Chance the Rapper. So let's talk about it. Let's be about it. But let's talk about Nicki Minaj and Meg the Stallion. OMG, it's going down. So let's check this relationship up. Let's check this out. I'll be in LA tomorrow. Oh, you coming to LA? Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. Boop this out. Ooh, ask this out. Ooh, ooh. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Hey. 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 <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. I was like, OMG, it's going down, baby. <laughs> Stop fucking playing with us. Say one wrong thing, bitch. <laughs> no. <laughs> one motherfucking wrong thing. I'm going to go write some shit. <laughs> okay, so you need to stop. Because what? Stop. Because any... It was cute. It was really nice to see that. For real, for real. It was going down. Just to see Nicki Minaj dealing with younger artists that are coming up. Because Nicki Minaj has set the standards. I mean, she set the standards. I mean, she's popping. She got it going on. She writes her lyrics. She knows what she's about. Her music is fire. And, like, she's just really untouchable when it comes to lyrics. When it comes to having a career in hip-hop. And actually rapping with the men. And rapping next along to the men, too, as well. And doing the damn thing. And tearing it up like it ain't nobody business so we got mad love for Nicki Minaj because she set the standards and when other female rappers wasn't popping or when the industry wasn't really looking at female rappers you know who came through the doors none other than Nicki Minaj so we got mad love for her we want to see Nicki Minaj catapult to the top to the highest that she want to go to as well too it'll be very interesting to see if Nicki Minaj actually takes my advice I've been saying this for over a year I just wish Nicki Minaj would get a bunch of young rappers a young female rappers and start a crew and catapult them you know promote them work with them help them let them know about the industry the ins and the outs what to do not to do how do you stack your paper how do you keep your money how you stay rich how you don't get broke how you're not in a poor house how you brand yourself how you bring yourself products and different other stuff and who to watch out for and who not to watch out for and you don't have to use your body to get on a record to get a feature or to get studio time and all that other good stuff because that's what Nicki Minaj promoted on Queen Radio you know yesterday so it's very interesting it would be so nice if she can because she can change the industry of the way female rappers rap because she has the power she has you know she has the longevity to do that too as well and she's an icon and she's been in the business for a long time and we've seen her hit after hit stay on top doing features you know just rapping guys out just rapping you know what I'm saying if she can get a bunch of females and actually you know teach them and show them the way to as well and actually you know make sure they're rapping make sure they're writing their own lyrics make sure they're doing what they want to do make sure that you know they're not being taken advantage of and whatever you know what they see is what they get is what they want what they put out there they get it back to as well with good music and and good music and basically music to empower women too as well to let everybody know that we we run this females be doing the damn thing in the rap music you know like Remy Ma you know what I'm saying and you know Nicki Minaj has the platform to do that too as well and also there's a lot of people that do be coming at Nicki Minaj and be hating on her and all this other stuff and that's where you have your young female rappers come out and do a quick diss track like Jay-Z used to have Jay-Z when people would diss Jay-Z his underlings you know the people that's on his crew the people that I rock with him they be like I'll take care of your light work Jay-Z just like Nas have people take care of his light work like the Wu-Tang they have people take care of that light work too as well not that Nicki Minaj can't take care of her light work but she's been beefing she's been doing all this she's been in that it's like it's time it's time for her to catapult and go to a whole different arena she's about to get married she wants to have children and then just rap about that and just rap about the courage that she had and the determination that she had too as well and basically finding herself while she was out there on the platform she was out there you know put out there in the media put out there on the internet put out there but at, at the same time she was trying to find who she was and basically wanted people to respect her for her lyrics so that's very important too as well so Nicki Minaj get you some killers together rapper killers you know on the map on, on, on 
on the on 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 the record, you know, MCs, female MCs that can rap with you or whatever. Blase in the third, that would be awesome too as well. For real, for real. I've been telling Nicki Minaj for the longest. She needs to get a group of females together, you know, that she helps and she promotes. And basically, when people come at her, she she's a legend. She don't need to be stepping down off her crown. Her her, her she don't need to be stepping down off her chair, off her post, you know, to engage with other people when she should have other females rappers that she put on that got respect for her and love her music out there doing the damn thing for her too as well because we've seen male rappers do it over in history and the hip-hop community where the young ones that take on who who's ever coming up trying to come at them but also just working with other females and putting them on and just showing them the game because a lot of females get taken advantage of and they get hurt out here in these streets when we're talking about trying to make music and being in the studio with people that you know don't really want to listen to your music but want to see what's between what you got in them thighs see what's between the thighs and chicken legs so it is what it is so and actually on queen radio you know Nicki minaj she got together and she was talking about you know the situation with her and big fendi and how all that situation went down and basically big fendi apologized like he knew that you know he messed up in some type of shape and form but he believed in Nicki minaj he believed in her and, she, and he knew that she wrote her music she didn't have nobody help her she was very authentic she didn't want to sleep with nobody she didn't want to have sex with anybody she didn't want people to be focused on her looks her body she wanted them to be focused on her lyrics and what she's saying how she rocks the mic and Fendi could attest to it and he said yes it was even when Fendi was trying to put Nikki out there to sell you know super P-U-S-S-Y super you know vagina or you know 1-800 vagina and Nicki Minaj was not trying to hear it she was not trying to go for that because she didn't want that to be you know her claim to fame is what's between her legs she wanted it to be her claim to fame is what she spits from her mouth from her brain from what she writes down on a piece of paper and Fendi said he believed in her you know he put money on her and everything when his son got hit by a car and he was in critical condition and he had to still make this business deal whether you know Nicki Minaj was going to do this song this music or whatever so he met the person at the emergency room and paid them to make sure that Nikki career kept going because he believed in her he had faith in her and sometimes you need that and I think the other young female rappers need somebody like Nikki to believe in them and show them you know the way to go how you have longevity how you stand up how you stand tall how nobody can come for you when you write your lyrics and then on, on top of that Nikki wanted to express that she's always been saying her whole career about writing your lyrics it's not about Cardi B it's not about the other female rappers but she has taken shots at Cardi B about not being a writer just an entertainer so let's make that clear so it is what it is with that situation but also Big Fendi attests to you know Nicki Minaj always being about the lyrics always being about the music and Big Fendi or Fendi also talked about like how many people didn't like Nicki Minaj you know like um um so many different people in the industry that you know work for record labels that did not like Nicki Minaj did not believe in her it was like females are not hot we're not trying to do music with females um like Steve Lowes and um Chris Lighting R.I.P. like people didn't believe in her or whatever and then she met up with Deb she met up with Deb Antony she met up with Deb and Deb was like yo I got your back and when Big Fendi was like well you can't work with Deb you can't work with Waka Flocka you can't work with Gucci Man because I don't have money for the hotel and basically Deb and you know Gucci Man was like we got that we'll take care of the situation for you it is what it is we got that and then Deb took on you know managing you know Nicki Minaj because Nicki Minaj didn't see for for Fendi because Fendi wanted to sell her like sell sex and she didn't want to be sold as sex or be sold as an object that's what she was not looking for to begin her career and the music but you know we see Nicki dress sexy you know the whole nine yards and also Deb also you know said that Nicki Minaj paid homage to Kim you know little Kim she tried to talk to little Kim little Kim didn't want to talk to her little Kim didn't want to be around her little Kim didn't want to have words for her at all and so Deb said she was there and she said people are lying when they say Nicki Minaj does not pay homage and didn't pay homage because she did I was there I saw how these people turned their back on Nicki Minaj they didn't want to be bothered with her I took I took Nicki Minaj to record labels and basically you know they said no she left the she left the labels crying on the wall and Deb was you know giving her the pep talk telling 
telling you gonna do this and Nikki was like I thought this woman was crazy as shit I thought she's batshit crazy but she had me believe in myself she had me believe that I can do it and I was like salute to you Deb Acne you are really a good person we know Deb Acne is not lying because she's a humble person she's a person with a good heart and she never talked bad about Nicki Minaj and also for Deb to take Brandon into her house to live with her on gr growing up hip hop after her son died and gave him a place to stay and loved him and made him a part of the family you know she's good people and then on top of that Deb does not um, go down for the Bow Wow bullshit when Bow Wow talks about oh the Kiyomi situation she basically blames it on Bow Wow and she said Bow Wow needs to change and he's the problem and he's not mature and he's not growing up she's not trying to sugarcoat it because he's a celebrity at all so you know we take Deb's words you know we, we take her words. We believe her. We believe you, Deb. So Deb was saying, you know, all that other good stuff. And she was also saying that, you know, Nicki Minaj, you know, tried to pay homage. And Nicki worked so hard. People shut the door, closed the door in her face and dissed her. Did not want to talk to her. Didn't want to have anything to do with her. Said that she, you know, she can't rap this and, and all types of stuff. And Deb said that, you know, she had to fight with Nicki Minaj. And Nicki Minaj said that she fought. So just this story alone with Big Fendi and also Deb Acne talking about all the trials and tribulation that Nicki Minaj went through just to get on and once she got on she stayed on and she been on and she's still on she's the number one you know show on Apple radio Apple music she's doing her damn thing and it was so good for her to have Fendi and Deb Acne there the people that people say oh Nicki Minaj turned that back on them and also Deb Acne says that you know it's a lie when they say that Nicki Minaj is not professional that you know that she's mean that she's rude she's not courteous she don't want to do interviews um deb acne was like Nicki minaj showed up to every interview she was there on time she was there early she was prepped she was ready to go she would go from interview to interview to show to show and she didn't stop she was grinding hard and she respects people so that's good to hear that from deb because deb was there she's seen what Nicki minaj been through so now you know the industry kind of created Nicki minaj you know trying to turn their back on her and dog her out like she wasn't good enough and you know you see what she been through on her heart how, how how hard it was for her to get on and then just to stay on, just to stay relevant and get respect from other rappers too as well. Male rappers and female rappers too as well. So it is what it is with the situation. We also have, you know, Nicki Minaj talked about on her previous, you know, um, Queen radio show that she was blackballed because of the situation with Whitney Houston and performing at the pre-Grammy Awards. They told her not to, but she says, I'm going to perform. And so she was blackballed and she said people tried to make it seem like she was just intolerable you know woman that nobody wanted to deal with she was just nasty and deb refruited all that yesterday on queen radio so check out queen radio show it was good and we also got to see none other than chance the rapper chance the rapper came through he's doing his new album his new albums out the big day and that album is fire chance the rapper did absolutely a great job he tore it up he interviewed with Nicki minaj he's married he's about to have another baby he believes in peace love happiness and joy and basically sending out good messages to the universe and um chance the rapper new album is on fire i mean it's like it's gospel but it's not really gospel it's like hood gospel it's ghetto gospel it's music that you need to listen to because once you listen to all the trap music all the gangster music all the sex music all the music that's out there you, sometimes you gotta have some feel good music you gotta have something like kurt franklin in the in the, in the door something that gives you positive vibes it gives you hope that you can get on that you can make it something that brings up your spirit brings up positivity in you and make your environment around you positive so salutes to chance the rapper his album was fire his album is fire go check out chance the rapper he did a great job him and Nicki minaj you know work so well together they got two songs on that album and i and i'm telling you it's on point check out chance the rapper's album it's out there so peace and love to all my peeps and my peoples peep squad is in a building baby we going to the top to the top to the top baby we're going to bring others with us and also you know Nicki minaj talked about you know her boo um kenny kenneth um zupo or whatever his name is 
um, Patty or whatever. And she was just talking about like when they were kids and growing up and how, you know, her boyfriend was fighting for her and that was his girlfriend. So you understand that they have a connection from back when they was kids, someone that you can trust, someone that you believe in, someone that knows you before all the money and all the fame. And that's just like a beautiful thing. It's just even if me or you meet somebody from my childhood that we had a crush on or we was in a relationship with, we haven't seen them for 20 or 25 years and they come back in, they make you feel brand new. They, 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 they bring back what you have kind of like forgot about, you know, when you was growing up because you got so much going on as an adult. You got so much going on in your life that when that old love come back in, you know what I'm saying? And remind you of the happiness, the joy, the innocence, the good times. You know what I'm saying? So you can understand why Nicki Minaj is with her old boo and she's about to marry her new boo, which was her old boo from back in the day. And basically, he loved Nicki Minaj back in the day and he was fighting over her for real, for real. Peace them out. One love to all my peeps and my peoples peep squad is in a building baby please hit that like button comment subscribe share the video it'd be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart my peeps my peoples peep squad peep squad is in the building baby and we're gonna bring others with us to the top baby because that's where we going to the top to the top to the top baby